How do drugs increase the amount of dopamine in the brain? Let's see. It starts in the midbrain in what's called the ventral tegmental area. These are a group of cell bodies that produce dopamine and release them at the nucleus accumbens. That's in the basal forebrain. From there, projections go into the prefrontal cortex to give you that feeling of pleasure that you get. And let's see what drugs play a role in this mesolimbic pathway that I just described. We have opioids like heroin and morphine. We have cannabinoids like THC from medical or, or cannabis or medical cannabis. And you have benzodiazepines, which include Xanax, Valium, Ativan. All of these inhibit these GABAergic neurons. So with GABA being inhibitory, if you can inhibit that inhibition, you're not going to allow negatively charged ions into the cell. You're not going to hyperpolarize the cell. And so that's going to release this neuron from this inhibition. And you're going to get more action potentials, more dopamine release, more dopamine effect. So that's how those drugs work. Nicotine actually binds with an excitatory neurotransmitter. Act, nicotine acts like that neurotransmitter. It binds to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors and stimulates those channels to open and allow positive ions in that get you closer to threshold and increasing action potentials. If you increase action potentials directly with nicotine, you're gonna increase the amount of dopamine release, you're gonna increase the dopamine effect on pleasure. Let's move to this synapse. So now um, let's see how amphetamines like meth and cocaine actually increase this whole dopamine effect. So typically, whenever these dopaminergic neurons release their neurotransmitter, that dopamine will be out there transiently and they'll come back in reuptake channels. So when they come back into these reuptake channels, they can be reused or whatever. So that's a, kind of a quick thing and not all this dopamine is gonna find receptors before it gets swept back in. But if you block those reuptake channels, those proteins embedded in the axon terminal there, then uh, dopamine stays out in that synaptic cleft longer, binds to more dopamine receptors on the postsynaptic membrane, and you're gonna have a more pronounced effect. So when people come off of drugs, well, when, whenever they do drugs, they actually, these receptors will downregulate. And so they have to increase their dosage and that increases the addiction and the dependence, and it makes it hard to come off of them because you have far less receptors than you did normally. So a lot of times people need help on how to kind of transition back into normalcy again.